Hey guys, so in this video, I am going to be explaining to you what my exciting new project is that I have been undertaking over the past couple of weeks. Um, so explain a little bit behind it and also what it's about and all that stuff. Um, so firstly, I think it's important to explain how this has come about. Um, so if you guys have followed me on social media for a while, you will know the backstory to why I started changing my mindset around, why I started the self-development journey. Um, but for anyone who doesn't know or is new to my journey, I just wanted to explain a little bit in this video. Um, so around three and a half years ago, I really felt I came to heads with my mindset, with my um, how I really viewed myself. I just felt so much shame around, not even just as a rider, but generally just as a human. I didn't feel good enough. Um, I didn't feel that um, I had any value. I felt frustrated. I was so scared of failing. Um, I had so many frustrations and I just thought, is this what life's all about? Is this how I'm meant to feel? And up until three and a half years ago, I genuinely thought that my negativity was just a character trait and nobody ever explained to me that um, this could be different. So I went to a show and I had felt like this before at a show, but I feel like this one was really the final straw for me where I went, I cannot carry on doing this. I really felt like the horses were picking up on it. My relationship with my mum was suffering um, and I just thought I can't carry on. So the show was actually a regionals and um, I had put a lot of pressure on myself to get to the nationals. Uh, and I went into that warm up with so much pressure um, and not even good pressure. It was very, it was very hard on myself. I had very negative self-talk. I really felt like everyone was looking at me thinking, what is she doing? She can't ride, she has all this money spent on her and she is just awful. Um, and that is not a nice feeling to have. And that is actually where the name of this, what I'm about to tell you, comes from. Um, Lift the Mist is basically, I used to feel like when I was um, in like a shame storm, what I sort of called it, is I felt like this mist was around me. I felt like this fog was around me. I couldn't think straight. Um, <clears throat> and I just felt like, really enclosed, really alone. I thought everybody else was having a great time. Um, and I was just this very different person that was struggling with things. So after that show happened, and I remember coming out of the test, and nothing had really gone that wrong. There'd been a few mistakes and I just felt like terrible. And I cried and cried and cried. Um, and me and mum had a big fallout after this. I think she was just so frustrated at seeing her daughter struggling this, this much. Um, and I just felt like I'd let everybody down. And basically from this, I thought there has to be a different way. This can't be the only way. And I was scrolling through Facebook and I came across this video that had been made by a guy that I had met randomly on a night out in Birmingham. And you know when you just know you were meant to come across that thing? So I saw this video and it was, um, like a motivational video, he was a personal trainer. And I just thought, wow, like things can be different um, from what he was talking about. And I just really felt like I needed to get to work on this. I needed to, um, needed to start to change my mindset around. And so I spoke to him a bit and what this one person did was spark the realization and the inspiration that I could change my mindset. So what happened after this is I realized that I wanted to be that one person for people. So I went onto social media to start to show people that things could be different. I felt in the equestrian world, it was a very quiet um, subject. Nobody spoke about things going wrong or the failures or how we deal with it. I felt like you had the psychologists who spoke about it and then you had the riders who didn't speak about it. And I just wanted to like morph that together. I wanted to be able to say, look, I'm doing this, I'm living it out and I'm struggling with this and this is how I came over it and this is what I do. So that's where my social media platform came from. And a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking about my business and how I could really help people. 
and I knew that my social media had helped people but I wanted to create something where it all kind of came together in this one area and people knew where to find things because I've said so many different things in different videos but it's very hard for people to to find so I decided and this is what I'm gonna say um, I decided to create an e-course around um, mindset, self-development, uh, basically um, creating a more resilient mindset and that is what I have done and um, I can't believe how quickly it came together and I think that really made me realise that this is so what I was kind of put on this earth to do um, and I just feel so inspired creating it and I just know it is going to be useful for people and help people. So basically the e-course um, has five main chapters and each chapter is a different area which I think people commonly struggle with. Um, not even in the equestrian industry or as riders, I think they just struggle with it um, as human beings. Um, and I know that I personally struggled with it massively and I can speak from experience. So each um, chapter will have sub chapters or sections in it going into more depth. Um, within these as well, there are lo there's loads of explanation um, and there are tasks I set, there are challenges I set, um, there are also videos, there is a PDF downloadable option where you can like work through it um, like a workbook and it's just all that put into a course for you guys. So although the course um, is, like I speak a lot about riding in that as examples, it doesn't just have to be for horse riders. I think it's very easy to adapt it into say a different sport or a different area of life. And what I have found from um, my mindset journey is that you can't segment things. So say I became um, more confident in my riding, more stable with my, um, image as a rider, I became more stable just as myself. Um, and I think that's the important thing to remember that it's this whole package. And I think that's the beauty of it, that when I set to work trying to improve my mindset for my horses, I actually completely changed my whole life, which is just incredible. Um, so the course is for any age. Um, there's nothing too like fancy or hard in there. And that's as well what I want to say is it's not a quick fix. Um, so you're not going to just do it and then voila, all your problems disappear. Um, but what it is basically is this tool. Um, it's knowledge, it's wisdom, it's everything I've learned from being a professional rider, um, from being a coach, from chatting to different professional athletes. Um, and also just being a human and walking through life and learning from the ups and the downs. And I just really wanted to um, make that available for people in a way that it's easy for them to consume. Um, so this course is not to be rushed. Um, there's no set time limit. So you've got a lifetime access to the course. So you don't feel like you have to quickly get through it. There's no time scale I've put on it. Um, you just work through it at your own time and I do mention in the course how important it is to not rush it um, and why but I'm just so excited um, to release it and to get it out into the world because like I mentioned at the beginning it took one person for me to try for, for me to change my mindset and for me to be that one person and give back to the world um, is just such an incredible opportunity and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Um, so that is basically what I have been up to. I think it will be all ready to go in about a month. The main content has been created, all my ideas are down. Um, now it is just creating it into the actual eCourse platform, which will be found over um, the internet. So it's super easy uh, and yeah, once that's all done, I can release it into the world and you guys can um, see it. Um, and the last thing I just wanted to say is um, if you're thinking about investing into your self-development and mindset, it is possibly the best thing I ever invested into because it leaks out into all other areas of my life. Um, I really felt that however good I became as a rider practically, um, 
it doesn't matter if my mindset was um, not good because I just kept self-sabotaging. Um, so mindset, self-development, who you are, it's just so important and I don't think you can make a wiser investment. Um, yeah, so that's basically it guys, but um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and um, I can't wait to get it out to you.